Masters Vessel Classical Academy, Primary Section. On the Roll. How are you, lovely ones at home? I hope you all are fine. Good. My name is Okobwe Nkem Oluchi. I'm here to teach physical and health education in basic form. Our today's topic is safety measures to avoid accidents. Safety measures to avoid accidents. That is our today's topic. And the objectives are Definition of safety. Safety is a condition of being free from the risk of harm or injury. Safety is a condition of being free from the risk of harm or injury. It is also a state of preventing and protecting ourselves and our neighbors from danger, damage, and accidents. It is also a state of preventing and protecting ourselves and our neighbors from danger, damage, and accidents. Causes of accidents. Causes of accidents. There are many different causes of accidents, but we are going to focus on these four. One, bad roads. Bad roads. Some roads are rough and poorly constructed with large potholes, which are mostly filled with water and flood. Some of our roads are very bad. They are rough, filled with potholes, and in such a case, it can cause what? Accident. So, bad road is one of the causes of accidents. Number two is unsafe environment. Shamaka, what did I say? Unsafe environment. This includes slippery ground, Litters of sharp objects, litters of banana peels, pure water bags, and poor constructed buildings. On self environment. This includes slippery ground, litters of sharp objects, litters of banana peels, pure water bags, and poor constructed buildings. In our environment, if it is a place where the ground is slippery or where you pour, where there is pouring of water on the floor, you can see that if care is not taken and anyone that matches there, that person can easily do what? Fall down. And when that person falls down, that person has involved himself or herself what? Accident. And also, littering of, uh, banana peels, even vegetable peels, and the rest of them, all these things can do what? They can cause accident in our 
environment. Another is emotional factors. Emotional factors. Some people cannot control their what emotion, and this can lead to what accidents. Some people they cannot control their emotion, and this can do what lead to accidents. Then emotional factors which can cause accidents are one anger, fear, impatience, and so on and so forth. Assuming you have problem or you have a quarrel or you have problem with your sister. Or with your brother, when you do not control your anger, when you do not control your anger, you can even kill that person. You can even use either knife or any sharp object to wound that person. So we have to control our emotions so that we will not wound ourselves or wound another person. So emotional factor is one of the causes of what accidents. Let us go to the next point, and that is lack of skill. Lack of skill. Lack of skill. In this very case, some activities require skills, like driving, operating machines, swimming, and so on and so forth. So, in this very case, some activities like driving, you cannot just say, "I can drive a car," without practicing how to drive a car. Because if we say that you can drive a car, you just stand up, you go and carry a car, you keep, you own it and you start driving. I want to tell you that you can hit yourself somewhere because you did not practice how to drive. And there is no way you can drive well if you did not go for driving school. You only drive well if you go, if you uh, involve yourself in driving school. That is when you will drive well. If you undergo certain trainings before you involve yourself in one thing or the other, I want to tell you that you do well and be expert in that aspect. Okay. So before I leave, I would like you to take down these assignments. Number one, what is safety? What is safety? Number two, list and explain three causes of accidents. List and explain three causes of accidents. And lastly on this, number three, State four ways in which we can prevent accidents. State four ways in which we can prevent accidents. Please make sure you do your assignments and pass it for marking. I will go for now. Bye till we meet again. Stay safe.